My name is Johnny Taylor, and I've been a part of Crossroads in some capacity for uh, about 15 years now. So my first encounter with deliverance ministry I actually happened about 10 years ago as I was uh, serving with a ministry that um, serves people who are going through homelessness. And these people I would see going through it were, they were alcoholics, they were drug users, they were severely mentally ill. And the majority of them, um, I don't know if they had like a clear relationship with the Lord. So in my mind, deliverance and demonic oppression was not for the Christian. It was for someone who is far from God and is struggling to to come to Him and to, to know Him. It turned me off to deliverance ministry and the idea that a Christian could have demons influencing them, have demons inside of them. Back in August of uh, 2023, Pastor Greg took the staff through a book called The Believer's Authority. And he even admitted that like he didn't agree 100% with the theology that the author of this book um, was presenting. And I think I might have struggled with it a little more than Pastor Greg did uh, because it just seemed so so different. Even some of the verbiage that uh, the author was using like seems so in line with like prosperity gospel and this super emotional like charismatic movement and I was like eh, I don't know if that is lines up with scripture and what I believe and then after we read that book Pastor Greg took us through a book called They Shall Expel Demons by Derek Prince and again I'm like I don't know this seems very much in conflict with what I believe about who God is, who the Holy Spirit is, um, and who I am as a believer. I remember reading through Leviticus and exploring like what the Holy of Holies meant and how it's the dwelling place of the Spirit of God and how if you didn't go through all these ritual processes to clean yourself, uh, you would die in the presence. You had to be clean. And I remember uh, like going back to uh, the New Testament and looking up every time like scripture would use the word t temple in relation to, to me as a Christian, like where it says in uh, 1 Corinthians that we're a temple of God, our bodies are a temple. And I looked up that word in Greek and it didn't just mean like the temple, like the collection of buildings, like it meant the Holy of Holies. I couldn't logically explain how an unclean spirit could live in the presence with the Holy Spirit. In my mind, the two ideas weren't compatible. I was going through the scriptures, like trying to figure out any example that a, uh, a believer had a demonic spirit in them. And there just wasn't anything clear for me there. The day before we had a team uh, come from out of state to do uh, quite a few deliverance sessions with like staff, elders. I remember um, the night before that was going on, just like crying out to God, like, is this from you? Like, show me, show me, um, just give me little clues. Let me know like this is from you. I was reading through the book, uh, These Shall Expel Demons, like reading through the process of how to actually like cast out an unclean spirit. And I just felt uh, the Holy Spirit say to me, cast out a spirit of doubt from yourself. And I'm like, okay, this is either, either like the enemy telling me to do this, this is either the enemy saying, like wiggling his way in, or this is the Holy Spirit. So I even prayed right before I did it. I'm like, God, like, you know I love you. You know I'm seeking the truth. And if I'm about to do something wrong, like just protect me from it. So like I read through the prayers, um, I grab a trash bag, and I open up my mouth and I start saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of doubt, come up and out, come up and out. And I do this for a couple of minutes and nothing's happening. And I'm like, okay, thank you, God. Like, that's my proof. Like, this is obviously not true, not for me. But then I just like felt the Holy Spirit say, do it one more time. So I'm like, okay. And when I, when I said spirit of doubt, in the name of Jesus Christ, come up and out, I start coughing a little and I'm like, okay, maybe this is all in my head. So I keep, keep saying it, keep saying it. And as I'm saying this, like I start coughing up a, like a yellowish liquid into this trash bag. And I'm like, my mind is blown. I'm like, like, what is that? And then I just feel the Holy Spirit say, cast out a spirit of unbelief. So I do that same process, same thing happens. Um, I'm coughing up this yellowish liquid. And at that point I'm like, Okay, two, two spirits are enough. I text Pastor Greg, it was probably 
10.30 at night, I say, I just cast out a spirit of doubt and unbelief out of me. Like, get me in the next Breaking Free Deliverance session available. I don't care who does it. I don't care when it is. Just get me in a session. And uh, he actually had an opening slot where someone had canceled like a couple hours later. I just knew that I was ready to become like whoever God wanted me to be. But it's really the only way to describe the experience uh, after you've gone through one of these sessions is that there's this, this freedom um, and clarity in your mind and this this nearness to God uh, that wasn't there before. If you're like in, in the same place that I found myself, ask God to show you that this is, this, this is for you, that this is gonna grow you, that this is gonna be the next step in becoming who God wants you to be. I don't know if I can uh, stress um, this enough, but we're, like, we're at war and there's different roles uh, that people play in, in wartime. Um, some people, you know, are more behind the scenes, but a majority of the people are called to the front lines. There's got to be people fighting. I would encourage anyone who's been through this to, to find your spot in the war. Maybe it's, you know, on the front line, uh, being in that first chair, the person uh, leading people through deliverance. Uh, maybe it's in that second chair, kind of being more of a support in prayer and encouragement. Maybe it's on the admin side of things because that is an important part of making sure that people are, are going through this and, and becoming free. Once you've gone through this uh, breaking free process, like your life's not gonna be the same anymore. Like you can't just go back to your old ways. You can't just take a seat on the sidelines anymore. Like you're, you're in the middle of it. Find your spot that God wants you in, that God has called you to in this fight against the enemy.